Hey everyone, one of the questions I get asked a lot about is how to cluster keyword sets. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the new clustering tool inside the SEMrush Keyword Manager and how you can use that to cluster existing keyword sets, but also create keyword clusters from scratch. And if you don't have a SEMrush account, I have included a free 14 day trial link in the description below this video. Okay, once you're inside SEMrush, come to the SEO toolkit and then down to the Keyword Manager. And then within this report, what you're gonna see is two different options. The first one is you can create a list from scratch and, key and cluster those keywords. Or if you already have a keyword list created, you can drop those in and use SEMrush to cluster those terms together. So an example of this, if we're just pretending for illustrative purposes here that we are a personal injury attorney that specializes in car accidents and truck accidents. So what I would do is enter those seed keywords into the box here, since they're most indicative or descriptive of the services that I would be offering in this case. Then what you'll do is select the keyword database that you wanna draw from. So in this example, I'll use United States. And then what you can do here as an optional next step is you can drop in your domain or you can even drop in that of a competitor domain if they have more content built out, just as an extra step to where you can pull in additional keyword ideas. So an example of this, I'm not affiliated in any way with this website. I was just pulling this as an example. If I come up to the legal services drop down here, I can see all of the different service areas they provide. So they have personal injury, car accident, truck accidents. So this is a good example where I could just drop in that domain and then hit create list. And then once that report runs, it might take a couple minutes, but you're gonna land in this view here. And you're gonna see up at the top here, we've got three different tabs, the clusters, mind map, and table views. Now the first two here are new. Now as we scroll down, you can see we've got 49 clusters now organized across 864 different keywords. And we've got a few different filters at the top here as well that we can use. But essentially, if we just open one of these results here, you can see all of the different keywords that are organized under this different cluster. Now SEMrush will give you these higher ranking potential ratings too. These are keywords that typically have higher volume and aren't super competitive. So those could be quick win opportunities based on the seed keywords you entered. But over here, you can see the intent scale that is given to this different cluster, as well as the number of keywords in it the keyword difficulty percentage and the aggregate search volume across those. In addition to this, you can also see the different URLs that are ranking for that seed keyword. Now there's some really interesting keywords within this list here that I can see like I-10 car accident lawyers, rear end truck accident lawyer, semi truck lawyers near me, these, some of these have really low competition. So in a space where it's brutally competitive, like personal injury, these are potentially some good keywords to go after. Now, as I scroll down, there's gonna be some really interesting one. Like those are obviously good core service level keywords. But as I scroll down now, I can see here's an interesting one with that high ranking potential assignment. You can see there's key, eight keywords in this cluster with a 5% keyword difficulty. So this is apparently very easy. And there's also 950 aggregate volume across these keywords. Now, this is a, a good tip and, and something that I like to look at when I'm qualifying keyword opportunities as well. If I look at this head-on car accident attorney keyword, I wanna know, do I actually need a dedicated page to rank for that keyword? Or can I capture that actually with just my core car accident attorney page? And one of the ways that I gauge this pretty quickly is I'll come over to this list of URLs that SEMrush is pulling in that is basing these recommendations off of. And then I just hover over the URLs to see, are they exactly targeting that keyword? So for this first example, I can see that this URL has a dedicated page nested under auto accident lawyer, car accidents, and then head on collisions. And if I scroll down, I can see, so does the second one, so does the third one. So I can see most of the URLs ranking for this specific keyword actually have dedicated pages targeting it. So this would be an awesome keyword that I could nest underneath of my main car accident attorney service page and go after some more longer tail queries that have much lower competition and still some really healthy search volume attached to those. And I could include or infuse all of these different keyword variations into the page to make sure that I have good coverage across this specific cluster. So that's just one great example of finding some really nice clustered keywords under those seed topics that we entered. And if I keep scrolling down, you're gonna see some additional ones like why should I hire a car accident attorney, hit and run victim lawyer. So this is another really good keyword if I was trying to target some longer tail terms. Again, lower competition, still got some healthy volume across this cluster. Now, just one more example, if I hit this drop down and I come across, again, do the URLs ranking for this keyword have dedicated pages? And I can see straight away for the people has an auto accident attorney's top level service page and then a hit and run accident sub page built off of that. So I can see again that this could be a great dedicated page to build under a car accident attorney service page and then just continue to scroll down the list. And what you can do is just check the different clusters that you like and then you can send these keywords across the SEO writing assistant, even into the rank report, maybe your PPC uh, 
targeting as well. Those could be good keywords there. And so that's just a great way to keep track and build your list as well from, from this main clusters table. And then also too, you can use the filters above too if you want to set minimum search volume, or maybe you only want to look at keywords that fall within the very easy or easy ranges. So in that case, I would just set my range up to 29%, apply that, and I could filter the list a little bit more as well. Similarly, I can filter by different intent ratings, and there's a few other filters you can use here. So just really handy. If you're more of a visual thinker and you wanna go across and just see this in more of your traditional mind map view, this is one way to do it as well, where same thing, I can scroll across these different seed topics and look at all the clusters that fall under those. So that's another way to do it. And then finally, you can see this table view. If you're familiar with SEMrush, this is gonna look very familiar as well because it's very similar to the keyword magic tool. And I'll typically go through this report if I'm trying to find some long tail queries that maybe were grouped into the clusters that also might warrant dedicated pages. So I can see here I 10 truck and car accident lawyers, commercial intent falls in that truck accident seed keyword cluster here. It's got 70 volume, low competition. I'm like, does it require a dedicated page or can I capture that with one of my other car accident attorney clusters that we saw in the previous step? So what you can do here is you can go show the top competitors. And this is gonna generate a pop-up where I can quickly see all the URLs and the targeting here for this, the sites ranking for this specific keyword. Now, if I hover over this one, I can see this one's ranking with truck accident attorneys page, but then I can see here that this one has a dedicated page around Interstate 10, tractor trailer accident lawyers. Same thing here, this one has a dedicated page for the I-10 variant of that keyword. So this could be another great long tail, very specific keyword target within that truck accident attorney cluster. Same thing, you can use the filters to streamline this down to ones that have minimum volume and keyword difficulty thresholds. So just some great ways to generate keyword clusters around some important seed keywords for your business. And then another way that you can use this tool is you can drop in an existing keyword list that you might have and use SEMrush to cluster those keywords together. You can see I've already dropped in 214 existing keywords, but you would you just paste them in here. Now what I can do is just come across and click cluster. And now I'll go cluster list and that'll start working. And depending on the list uh, size of the keyword list that you have, it may take a few minutes to generate. And here's the list of clusters. I've got 38 clusters across those 214 keywords. And I, as I scroll down, I can see things like white hat link building, local SEO tools. These are all looking like solid keywords, some, some long tail stuff in here, like how to do keyword research with the SEMrush keyword magic tool. In this cluster, we've got a 980 aggregate volume, small business SEO services, agency tools, white label tools, some really good high intent keywords for a site that monetizes primarily through affiliate marketing, and then how to find low competition, long tail keywords. So these are pretty specific and I can pop these open just like we did before and look at all the keywords that I would need to target within each cluster. So that's a handy tool that if you already have a pre-existing list of keywords built out, you can drop those also into the keyword manager here and SEMrush will help group those together and generate those clusters. So I hope you found that overview of the new cluster tool inside SEMrush helpful. Feel free to use the 14-day free trial link in the description below the video and I'll see you in the next one.